Greetings, church. It's your two-minute faith break, encouragement that we all need. And today's faith break actually comes out of the, the, the last verse in Ephesians chapter 4. Um, I've been thinking about this verse a little bit because I've spent a, I've had a number of pre-marriage counseling sessions with people that are getting married here in the next months and, and, uh, and even beyond, but um, just doing a lot of pre-marriage counseling. And in those sessions with folks, we talk a lot about communication and conflict resolution. Of course, those are, are huge pieces of relationships. Um, we have to be able to communicate with one another, and we have to be able to resolve conflict. And, and so having a lot of those conversations with pre-marriage couples and discussing what that means within a marriage and, and thinking about what that means also in our relationship with the Lord. And God gives us these incredible gifts uh, with communication, with, which is, you know, prayer, and he gives us his word to, to know who he is and, and his thoughts and his heart on matters. He, com- he, he speaks to us um, through people around us and through the fellowship and through the word and in our prayer life, he communicates with us. Um, and he also gives us this great and, and really the most powerful conflict resolution tool that there is, and it is the gift of forgiveness. And so forgiveness from Ephesians chapter 4, the last verse, verse 32, Paul writes, Be kind to one another, tender, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. And so our forgiveness flows out of this truth that we are a people who have been forgiven. We are a people who have been forgiven. Well, I don't know how all of your relationships are in in your life, but I know that there is a great and awesome gift from God to restore those relationships. And he calls us to be those people who forgive one another and who live in forgiveness, the forgiveness of our sins from our Father, from God our Father, and we live in the forgiveness of sins between one another. So who needs to be forgiven in your life today? How do you need to exercise this awesome gift of forgiveness? Well, I invite you to communicate that with somebody today. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this gift, for this beautiful gift that restores our relationship to you and and to one another. And help us to put it into practice daily. Help us to communicate it with those that we love. And help us be quick, Lord, to to ask for forgiveness from you. Lord, you are uh, an awesome, awesome God. We love because you first loved us. We forgive because we have been forgiven. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.